when you look at it, it does look like it's something that is wrecking the environment and, you know, not good for the environment. I think of the people, the, the faces of people that actually work out in those mines come straight to my mind. 18-year-old Meg Southcombe is getting ready to move away from her hometown Musselbrook and head to university to study teaching. She's a mining kid, mum's in the mines and so is dad. And while the impact on the environment does come to mind for Meg, the role of the mining game is far more personal. That mine puts food on my table every night, it clothes me. So at the end of the day, it's doing everything right for our family. If you're turning on a PowerPoint, charging your phone, charging your laptop, you're relying on the mines just as much as I am. Last year, Meg published a report as part of a Year 12 course, shining a spotlight onto a lived experience of mental health. It was basically about a uh, family in the local area. Both parents were employed in the mines and a challenge they faced when their dad went through depression. Her work was received so well that it led to Meg sharing the secret that the anonymous family in the report was her own. The raw analysis of her personal story has been recognised locally and beyond. But Meg is concerned that other families in her town could go through what her family went through if mental health isn't factored into job transition plans. You just hear the talk in the community like, am I going to lose my job? And it's not just, am I going to lose my job? It's, you know, will I be able to support my family? You know, will our house get taken from us because I can't pay my mortgage? Just before last year's COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, Prime Minister Scott Morrison unveiled Australia's plan to meet net zero carbon emissions by 2050 by backing future technologies largely still in development. It will not impact households, businesses or the broader economy with new costs or taxes imposed by the initiatives that we are undertaking. It will not cost jobs, not in farming, farming mining or gas because what we're doing in this plan is positive things. Meg's thoughts of the Prime Minister's transition no job loss promise? Come to coal country and listen to what locals are worried about. I've come home from school some days and there'd be news that, you know, people in the mines are being put off and my dad and mum would sit out the back, literally where we are, stressing if they're going to lose their job and what are they going to do. That's what sent my dad into a spiral of depression. So. Yeah, it's all well and good to tell us everything's going to be fine, but let's have a reality check. It's not going to be around forever. My question is what will happen when we run out? People will be out of work. And while, you know, there may be renewable sources of energy and all other types of uh, employment, mining is something that I think employs a lot of people for different reasons. It does impact more than just the worker. It comes home to their family life too.